Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. Flesh, bone, bound together with the oddest magical incantation. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago, before time, before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. This is not my story, nor even the story of the Roivas family. It is the story of humanity. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia, ignorant of so much and dependent on so few. The Guardians grow restless, their time once again near. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed their path, and they didn't take kindly to it. Their attention turns to my granddaughter, for she is the last of my line, and the last hope for humanity. Alexandra Roivas? Um, yeah, who's this? This is Inspector Legrasse of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident with your grandfather. I'll be on the next flight out. Ah, Miss Roivas, I'm pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip? Um, yes, I suppose so, considering. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. Uh, this way. But I must warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. I'm afraid there's not much to see. Miss Roivas, is that your grandfather, Edward? Yes, it's him. He's wearing our family ring. I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What is wrong with you? I'm... I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. Now, none of this makes sense. There's no sign of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Ugh, we don't have a single clue. Well, you better find out who did this. I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. I wish I had some.
I had no knowledge of what was to come, nor did I care. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand, or you will perish. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality. To see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose, for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. I was once a fool. Where is Quies Candamest? Where is Conservandine? Facusatis aquae sumant, et animus eorum conforma, pugna huis dia sit modo prima multarum, si ingeptum conficiamus. Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. Volo res I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Our enemies did not have a chance. Do you believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs, or his orders. But if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong and patient.
eons have passed since then, and I have learned much. All at once, I understood. The forces of the multiverse all made sense under the transcending power of Ulyoth. No mountain too high, no city too far. Face me, and you shall surely perish. I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Thy time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos, and to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of, of flesh and bone. bone. You have a great monument here, Mantarok. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness claim thee, crawling chaos and damn beast! No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients you have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last of this world. Fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and of higher purpose could happen to me.
Reduced to feeding on flesh and bone, Matrock. How the mighty have fallen. You will surely fester for millennia to come. A slow and torturous fate for thee. You had best leave, young fool, or you will find yourself as food for the dead god. Destiny to fight the eternal darkness. I give you a gift in return for an obligation. The gift is your life, sweet dancer. The obligation is this. You hold one of Mantarak's hearts. The essence of a corpse god. The summit is a source of great power. From those people, you must defend it. Lest they use it to destroy what little brightness your world has left in it. Guard it well. child. Very well then. You will succumb to the horrors of oblivion. <laughs>
Thy presence is long missed, my liege. The universe is a yawning chasm filled with emptiness and the puerile meanderings of sentience. Why should you deserve special consideration within it, Augustus, above all else? I am your servant, my lord. As always, that and nothing more. Yes, that and nothing more. What revelations do you bring me? My meditations reveal a flaw in our plan. Our plan, Augustus? Mantarok is a shadow ebbing in the light of our glory. It and the others are slow, weak, bound by the realm of the universe. Unable to unite to fight a common foe, they will fall one by one. Unfortunately, this is beyond your understanding. The binding of Mantarok will seal their fate as its power over us is diminished. Such an irony that the Keeper itself be imprisoned within the walls of its own magic. But what of its essence? Is that not the core of its remaining power? Upon my seeping into the corporeal world, I will be the dominant over all, Mantarok included. Your worries are unfounded. You must turn your attention to Charlemagne the Frank. His continued presence within the world is far more serious to our cause. As you wish, Master. He will be dead before the week is out. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavors of mankind are mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. Whenever a king vows reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under the auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, the new Holy Roman Empire was at the height of its power. Tonk mit ad dominum et imperatorum nostrum, carolum magnum francum. Deliver this to our Lord and Emperor Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. They are words for his eyes only. At once. <laughs> what sorcery is this? A spell? I am bewitched. If this was meant for Charlemagne, then what will become of him? I have to warn him of this treachery. Work. We should get out of here. You have proven what we have feared the most. This poor man has been the victim of great evil. Look how his body has been defiled. As if something has burst out from inside him. Here, take this for your protection. And find the bishop. He must be informed of this horrible discovery.
you have come to return my book. Very well then, for your efforts, I promise a quick and merciful death. trying to save him, Anthony. His fate was decided many centuries ago, as is the fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Ulya. Dreams. Modern psychology offers only unproven theories. Some see them as the meaningless tossing and turning of a brain settling into a restful sleep. Others see them as laden with symbols of our unconscious desires. To still others, dreams represent the upwelling of the archetypes, normally hidden deep within the recesses of the human collective unconscious. Of one thing I am certain. After a brush with the ancients, our dreams metamorphosize into nightmares. I have implored you for years. You ignore all my advances. You dominate my dreams, and I can think of nothing else. I fear I desire you many hundred times more than you love me. My life has become a waking dream, Karim. 
For weeks, I have dreamed of an ancient treasure so precious that it changes all life around it. It must be mine, Kareem. If you truly desire me, as you say, then you will find this for me. Bring this treasure to me, and I will be yours. Both of our dreams will come true. I need nothing more than you. You have enthralled me to the point where I can think of nothing else. Promise, if I leave, you will not forget about me. You need not worry. I desire nothing more than the treasure that you seek. Leave now, Kareem, and I shall await you.
but insanity takes hold, and nothing seems right. During those times, I will help you. Fear not, for I will keep the darkness away. So much for thinking only of me. I should never have left. I have seen my folly and have already paid dearly. I see so much more now. In death, I know the true value of the artifact which I asked you to find. And it is not for us to possess. If we are to be together again, you must make a sacrifice. Only when that is complete will we be together. Sacrifice? Why should I do anything for you? You lied to me. Betrayed me. And you really don't look so good anymore. You must forget the past. Despite who you are now, you will also become something more. Just as I have. But the sacrifice must be made. We must remain here and guard the artifact. Dark things will come to claim it, and you must be strong to keep it from them. Without your sacrifice, the world will fall into eternal darkness. The things I do for love...
Hello? Remember me, Alex. Excuse me. My liege, the future is yours. The light in the Age of Darkness has been extinguished. The Pillar of Flesh has been constructed. The Master of Chaos, the Keeper of the Ancients, is long dead. The planets will be in alignment soon. All is prepared for your arrival. I will begin the final incantation that will bring you into our world within days. The next millennium will truly usher in a new age. Your guardians, now prepare the gate! I will not argue that I was shocked by the sudden mention of one of my ancestors, the distinguished Dr. Maximilian Royvas. It chilled me to my bones. Where had this ancient book come from? How had my ancestor stumbled upon it? I feverishly began to read more, eager to learn his story. It seems that Maximilian had inherited his father's mansion, just as I had. Alone since the death of his wife, and since his children had their own adult lives, he explored the house to discover his family roots. It has been two weeks since the death of my father, and it has finally come to me to look over the mansion. Now I am truly alone, and forced to start a new life here in Rhode Island. I intend to make the mansion mine, and live in it as my forefathers have, to continue the family tradition. The mansion has its secrets, I'm sure, and in my time here, I have to make them mine.
fabulous. Sapient Silent his Dievos. This can't be happening!
cursed beast was dead, but not without its toll on me. That was but one, and there was an entire city of them. I could not hope to fight them all alone. I knew I had to get help. I knew there was a way. I just had to find it. Empty souls and fevered thoughts, reeking of fetter and decay, thinking me mad with delirium. <laughs> the fools cast away their hopes of salvation, but locking me in this damned asylum. May the rats eat your eyes! I am now lost to your cause! The darkness comes! It will damn us all! Heart will be in our possession, my liege. Never underestimate the power of Mantorok. Even in death, it corrodes all about itself. It is unguarded. The presence of the Corpse God causes fear in all who come near it. It has torn entire villages asunder and made the region uninhabitable. Only the foolish would venture near it. Even so, what may be easy to take may be easily taken away. Fear not. For centuries we have searched for something that was before us all the time. Mantarok's essence never left the city temple, and with it located, we are one step closer to your freedom, Master. Yes, yes. Make haste. The Ancients' influence was incredible. From all walks of life to all parts of the world, their tendrils crept and wrought their insidious damage. Their prisons decayed constantly as their guardians' work continued. I discovered mention of a breakthrough in satellite radar imaging that revealed the presence of a hitherto unknown temple mound in the Angkor Thom region of Cambodia. An archaeologist of some repute, Dr. Edwin Lindsay, took it upon himself to investigate the area, to reveal the secrets of history. Unfortunately, the local government at the time thought differently, requiring that Lindsay find other means into the country and to finance the expedition. He found these in Paul Augustine, a collector of rare items who professed an interest in the discovery and agreed to help. After a dysentery riddled two-week venture, Lindsay and Augustine located the remains of an ancient city temple 
dating back to the 12th century. Yes, this is it. It has to be. I hadn't expected the information to pan out, but here it is. The satellite data was correct. For years, I have searched for it without success. Here, all along, clouded from us beneath the great ancient's insidious magic. I am very pleased with your performance, Dr. Lindsay. Very pleased. In fact, so pleased that I will give you an early bonus. God! You are a scholar, Dr. Lindsay, not a warrior. In that regard, I have several centuries more experience than you. Don't be a fool. Die quietly. And you will not suffer. You cannot escape me, Lindsay. This place will be your tomb. Just as it is Mantarox. Guardians of Ulyath, kill him!
Remember me, Alex. How can I forget you, Grandpa? You've always meant the most to me. Ever since... Ever since my parents died. Yes. Ever since they were killed. You've been my little girl. not easily controlled. What makes you think I want to control it? <laughs> Arrogant man. Kill him! Make sure you succeed this time. Flesh and bone, lest you become like me, a dead, rotted husk. I have waited many centuries for you. It was not easy hiding from the Dark Ones as they searched for me. At first they passed by, not thinking that the heart was inside my dead body. But I was forced to find refuge here. You must seal the heart so it never contacts your flesh, and take it to the gathering of light. Take the heart there, or the world shall fall under a reign of eternal darkness. The veil of reality can only be pulled back so far, mortal. Take your stand and fight the darkness!
am your master. Your task is to guard the artifact before you. Let no one touch it. In Europe, during the time of the Inquisition, paranoia and corruption ran deep. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancients' corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral, for everyone was suspect. Welcome to Oublier Cathedral, Brother Luther. I'm glad that our sacred order can bestow hospitality on our Franciscan brethren. I shall not impose, Excellency. I merely request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, it would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a problem. Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. It appears to be, but deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. For the love of God! God! Help! Come quickly! A murder! A murder most foul! What heresy is this? I... I found him lying here. Dead. I called the guards. Ah. Is this our first suspect? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. As for this man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But... Hold your tongue, Franciscan, or it might bring my wrath upon thee. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? If you trust in the Almighty, and you are indeed innocent, then you will have nothing to fear. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No. I'm here to free you. You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like the others. What do you mean? The body you found was Brother Andrew, and he was killed to protect a secret. We can't talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later, and I shall aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die like your Franciscan brethren. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If I were you, I'd run. They will surely hunt me if I run. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals if you can. 
He spent time in the old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. We can't evade them forever. Brother Luther, not a moment too soon. As you have noticed, dread things inhabit this place. Shambling corpses, and worse. There is darkness at work here, in the midst of the Inquisition. I suspect it is worse than that, but I have no proof. Brother Andrew knew this also, and paid the price for it. Why are you telling me this? Perhaps you can finish off what Andrew started. Take this key. It unlocks the old tower. It has been sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage to uncover the source of darkness, return here, and I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother, may your faith protect you.
Brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along. I managed to find remnants of his journal, and it all points to Augustine's involvement with a paganistic cult operating inside the cathedral. Aye, the cathedral's dark secret has been uncovered. I too suspected this, but was too afraid to act. Augustine himself is a heretic. He has covered his tracks well. Claiming that the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude, was stored here, he had those who came to see it murdered. The Hand of Jude never existed. And with that realization, the trap closes, brother. My days here are numbered. I awoke to find this cruel dagger placed upon my pillow this morn. It can only mean one thing. I know too much, and they are moving to silence me. I can only hope that what little faith I have left is enough to save my soul. Please, take this thing away from me. Its very sight troubles me to no end. May your faith protect thee, Brother Luther, for that's all you have. Wanting answers to clarify your new position as fugitive, you seek them out, and this is what you find. <laughs> Tell me, what does a man such as yourself think of when he finds a viper's nest of heresy? When he finds the very source of corruption? I think of irony. Irony of what you masquerading as a member of the Inquisition stand for, and that you stand for evil. Evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner imaginable. 
after we have broken your frail body and mind in the name of our true lord, Ulyalf. Come, my children, feast on this morsel, and let us return to our preparations. task, my liege and greater guardian, is to guard this place. Do not worry about this world. This kind yelps in terror at the sight of your mightiness. We will dispose of him ourselves. Who are you? I am your lord and conqueror. What manner of forsaken being are you? So, you can see me in my true form. You are a gifted man. Take this one and use him as the foundation for the pillar. He is special and should be given a special place among the suffering. Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. In the context of history, one man's champion is another man's nemesis, hero or murderer. Much has been written, but what has not is far more interesting. The Tome of Eternal Darkness mentions a Venetian artist and architect of the Renaissance named Roberto Bianchi. Roaming abroad to find inspiration, 
he was captured by a warlord, expanding his empire. He forced Roberto to use his architectural and engineering skills to construct a monument to his greatness. To complete his task, he must survey the site. Survey the site quickly, dog, and maybe you'll live long enough to see the sacrament's construction. Did you think we would trust you, Bianchi? Even though you are graced with the generosity of our liege, you are still his prisoner. As I said, finish your work quickly, and maybe we'll drag you out of this hole. Thank you. 
me, Grandpa. I can't take this anymore. Don't be so weak, Alex. You have a stronger mind than this. I didn't bring up a weakling. Not a scared wretch of a girl. You kept all this from me. You kept me alone. You shared nothing with me. I couldn't. I could never give you the burden. I just wanted you to grow up. To grow up and leave me alone. Why couldn't you have been killed with your parents? Tear part of her Except the chosen. Speak. You are the chosen. For many years I have tested those who came here and all have failed. You are unaffected by the power I wield, and thus must surely be the chosen. I? Once I was as you were, confused and without answers. Yet they came in time. Now my duty is complete. I can finally rest. My sacrifice was not in vain. And what news do you bring me? Architect. The, the, the foundations are infested. Demons and devils. Many lives will be lost if you try to build there. Mm, you have done well to complete your goal, Bianchi. The construction will continue as planned. But the demons! You'd be insane to build there! Silence, dog! What dwells beneath the Forbidden City is the very reason it was built. For you to understand, you must witness it firsthand. Let me educate you. Guards! Put this one with the others of the sacrifice. <laughs> I am the scourge of God, appointed to chastise you. 
since no one knows the remedy for your iniquity except me. You are wicked, but I am more wicked than you. So be silent! Now you, Architect, you are about to make your largest contribution to this project. The Black Guardian grows restless, my liege. Its hunger increases, and the binding continues to weaken. We feed it flesh, but I fear it will not guard the relic too much longer. There is no choice in the matter. It must remain and guard the artifact until the time of planetary alignment. After that, the Guardian may return to its lair. Our master does not like failure. It is imperative to keep the binding intact. Then we have to find more flesh and bone. The war to end all wars redefined how mankind looked at war and the value of human life. Over 19,000 men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the Somme. Some say uselessly, some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches, but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. His implication about the ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob researched his latest story from the front lines. His grim task brought him to Oublier Cathedral, now transformed into a field hospital. I find no solace in the purpose behind all the senseless violence that surrounds me. Young men die at a rate unheard of in centuries of warfare. Shelling, machine guns, and mustard gas, rip Pierce and burn to flesh. Men so gauze and only urine to stop the insidious gas. The hospitals here cannot cope with the torrent of wounded.
many centuries I've waited for you. You are mine. Don't disappoint me now. I've waited such a long time, Alex. Never! I know what you are. I've seen what happened. You can try to fight me, but in the end you shall succumb to my desires. My foolish child, you don't even know your own destiny. Get away from me! And that was how I came by it. I know it sounds crazy, but there you have it. The only proof I have is that statue. Hmm. It's a strange one. I've seen one like it before. You have? Yes. Very rare, though. Very obscure. I've had experts take a look at it. 
and none of them know what it is. And you do. I'm somewhat of an expert on these things myself. An interest I developed a long time ago while I was a young man. Then you should keep it. Lord knows I have no interest in it. I am sure it's the cause of my sleeplessness. I keep thinking about it. As if it's calling out to me. Then a drink, perhaps. For the gift. For an unusual objet d'art. You are not free to leave this plane until you complete a task for me. You are to hunt and kill the master of this house. Do this one thing and you will be free. Else fear the wrath of Uriel. Everything is complete for your arrival, Master. Now we must wait for the planets to align, and that is not too many years from now. Another Roivus has crossed our path. This time, we will not be so merciful. Mercy has no place in this world. He will meet such a horrible death that the rest of the line will never set foot in his house again. Pray to me that they don't. My education in psychiatry did not prepare me. I would love to see how Freud's view of his mother would change with the knowledge of Chaturga. How Skinner would incorporate Zelotath into his behaviorist theories. How Jung would accommodate Ulioth into his theory of the collective unconscious. Like my ancestor Maximilian, I too had an interest in my family tree. As a psychiatrist, I believe that science could provide answers into my family's sordid, bizarre past. It was with great excitement that I began my search. The mansion's history was filled with my colorful predecessors. Everything from convicted and hung witches to committed madmen, each laying their own peculiar mark on its character. I intended to find their secrets. You know who I am, Edward. Although you are doing your best not to believe it, I am or was 
Maximilian Roivas, your ancestor. I died in an asylum after trying to warn the world. The pain and anguish I felt in that cell has empowered me to linger after my death. I must complete what I started, Edward. The darkness must be stopped, or all of humanity may end. Sets the clock to the 33rd minute of the third hour.
Master, I am saddened to report the destruction of the Guardian Colony at the ruin of Enga. I am not without eyes, servant. I knew of their loss as it happened. It is not a concern of mine. The Guardians were merely tools to forward the greater cause. Think of them as casualties of war. But the balance of power has shifted with their loss. Nonsense! Balance? There has never been balance. If anything, we shall remove all balance. Our plan continues as predicted. I have seen the future, Pius, and it portends a great battle between myself and the great being of matter. Chaturga will fall to my superiority. The power of Chaturga is useless against me. Of course. As it was meant to be. The gates will be readied, just the same. We shall overcome. Be patient, my servant. Be patient. Augustus, a storm of metal and fire, and a torrent of souls along with it, young and vibrant. Yes, I have seen it coming. A worthy sacrifice, I am sure, and one that will allow the greater guardian that resides below to finish its channeling. Sacrifice of souls I make unto thee, Great One. The gate shall be ready to be opened, and your freedom shall be at hand. Dear Alexandra, if you are reading this, Alex, then I am surely dead. Knowing that the police will contact my only living relative, I made sure to leave this message for you. As I write this letter, Pius Augustus is waiting for his chance to strike me down for what I have done to the Guardian City. I believe I have slowed Augustus' plans, but not stopped them completely. He will still try to bring his ancient into this world. You must continue what our ancestor Max has started. You must gather the artifacts and call forth an ancient to combat what Augustus brings into this world. Of the artifacts, there are four but one of these is in the clutches of Pius himself. They are 
the Black Heart of Mantarok, the Claw of Chaturga, the Sigil of Zelototh, the Veil of Ulyauth. Your skill in the arcane science will not be as strong as Pius's, who has had two millennium to prepare his gate. You will need all the remaining artifacts to match his power. It all rests with you, my dear. I wish you well in this desperate act. I wish I had more guidance for you, but I am at my wit's end, and I feel I am running out of time. Your loving grandfather, Edward. Wherever disaster and death lurk, there is likely to be an ancient just beyond our senses, waiting. They prey on our misfortune and exploit it toward their own twisted ends. When hundreds of oil fields are set ablaze on the heels of war, the ancient's grip tightens, knowing that lives will be forfeit and resources squandered. But a few people make a difference. People like Michael Edwards, a Canadian industrial firefighter hired to put an end to the insanity at the end of the war. Ironically for him, the insanity was just beginning. about this one. It feels more out of control than the others. More powerful. I don't know how else to describe it. This is the safest way to blow out these things. You've done this enough to know that. It's by the numbers. It's all good. Just relax. The silicon cloth and the water spray are there, so you're probably right. We've got 500 pounds of 80% nitroglycerin grade dynamite all in place. We're good to go. Edwards, you can pull your team back now. Get your team to a safe distance and we'll try to kill the fire. Sure thing. Coming back now. We're getting a pressure increase at the well cap. It's gonna tear itself apart. Hurry! Get your team out of the... Tons of concrete. Take this. Guard it well. Many have perished for it. Take it. Take it to the ruins of Enga. At the ruins, a gathering of light. You want me to take this to some ruins under a house in Rhode Island? Take it. Save us. All.
Thanks for coming. I didn't think you'd show. Look, I have no idea who you... I think you do. Just as much as I know you know. Now let's be quick. The Guardians know where I am and I won't last the night. But that's not the point. What's this? Something you need. Don't open it here. Only in privacy. They can sense it if it's not shrouded. Is it one of the artifacts? You must leave now. But there's something I have to do before they get to me. I can't protect you if they find us. Good luck! Rivers, you're just in time. The summoning spell I began 2,000 years ago is finally complete. You will now have the honor of becoming the first morsel for my lord, Ulya. An appetizer for the banquet your race shall provide. You forget what it means to be human, pious. The human race will never go quietly into the darkness. For as long as you have spent summoning your lord, people have struggled against you. Now, thanks to their efforts, I have three of the Ancients' essences. Now, Pius, this is the end! <laughs> the end, indeed!
spit at thee. The darkness shall be eternal. is not so easily destroyed. No. My death is just the beginning.
Quickly, Alex! We must find this creature! It cannot be allowed to remain in this universe! It is finally over, my dear. The Ancients' plans are finished. For now, at least, you have proved to be an incredibly courageous young woman. Your mother and father would have been proud of you, just as I am. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you. But there was so little time, and so much to do. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. As I gazed up at the ancient I had brought into this world to stop Pius, my mistake was made clear. This ancient could lay the world to ruin just as easily as Pius's would have. And yet, as quickly as it began, it ended. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of reality. To see those who dwell behind. I was once a fool.